In the final days of November, leaks about Samsung's upcoming Android 15-based One UI 7.0 have been making headlines. Several Samsung apps have surfaced online, giving Galaxy users a sneak peek at what's to come. Among these leaks is the Calculator app, now available for download and ready to try out for those using a Galaxy device running One UI sticks. The Calculator app is one of the most straightforward stock apps on Galaxy devices, and its design reflects its simplicity. So it's no surprise that the One UI 7 version looks nearly identical to its predecessor on One UI 6. If you're expecting major design overhauls or revolutionary new features, this update might leave you underwhelmed. However, there are a few subtle changes worth noting. When you compare the two versions side by side, the first thing you'll notice is the slightly larger numbers, symbols, and text in the One UI 7 calculator. This subtle tweak may enhance usability, especially for users who prefer larger fonts. Apart from this minor adjustment, the interface remains unchanged, staying true to its minimalistic design. But is this the final version? Possibly not. As One UI 7 is still under development, there's a chance Samsung might introduce additional refinements before the official rollout. That said, it's unlikely we'll see drastic changes to the calculator app's design or functionality. If you're curious to explore the new calculator app yourself, Samsung makes it relatively easy to sideload the app. Here's how you can do it. One, uninstall the existing calculator app. Start by removing the current calculator app from your device. To do this, simply long press the calculator app icon in your app drawer and select uninstall. Two, download the new app file. Next, download the installation file for the One UI 7 calculator. Use the link provided in the description to get the APK file and save it to your device. Three, manually install the app. Open the Samsung My Files app, navigate to the downloaded file and tap it to begin installation. Some users on One UI 6 may encounter an issue with the auto blocker feature. This security setting prevents sideloading of apps from external sources. If this happens, here's how you can resolve it. One, go to settings on your Galaxy device. Two, navigate to security and privacy. Three, disable the auto blocker feature temporarily. Once the app is installed, you can re-enable Autoblocker for added security. If you decide the new calculator isn't for you, reverting back to the One UI 6 version is simple. Just uninstall the One UI 7 calculator app using the same method and download the original app from either the Play Store or the Galaxy Store. Within minutes, you'll have the familiar interface back on your device. While the calculator app's update may not bring dramatic changes, it's clear that Samsung is paying attention to usability even in its simplest apps. One UI 7 calculator is a good place to start. Just follow the installation steps, explore the subtle changes, and decide if it's worth the upgrade. Let us know your thoughts. Is this a meaningful update, or do you think Samsung could have done more? Drop your comments below, and don't forget to stay tuned for more updates on One UI 7 and its upcoming features. Samsung has finally removed all doubts about a new Galaxy Z Fold model arriving this year. If the leaks hadn't convinced you yet, today's announcement confirms it. The Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition is real and it's arriving soon. But now, the big question is, how does this Special Edition differ from the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which was released just a few months ago? One of the first differences between these two foldables is their availability. While the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is available in various markets around the world, the special edition might be harder to get. Samsung has only announced it in South Korea so far with plans for it to reach China next. If you're in the West or other regions where the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is sold, you may not see this special edition on store shelves anytime soon. Samsung describes the special edition as the thinnest and lightest Galaxy Fold ever made. Measuring just 10.6 millimeters when folded, it's slightly thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which comes in at 12.1 millimeters. Additionally, it weighs 236 grams compared to the Fold 6, 239 grams. Not a huge difference, but notable for those who prioritize portability. When it comes to dimensions, the special edition is wider than the Fold 6, both when folded and unfolded. This difference gives it a broader display, making it more user-friendly for those who are used to regular smartphones. The unfolded dimensions of the special edition are 157.9, 142.6 x 4.9 millimeters, while the Fold 6 measures 153.5 x 132.6 x 5.6 millimeters. The wider design also leads to different aspect ratios. The Special Edition boasts a 2018 aspect ratio for its main display, while the Fold 6 uses a more traditional 4 to 3 ratio. This wider layout offers a slightly better experience for tasks like multitasking or viewing content. Samsung hasn't revealed much about any potential upgrades to the displays. 
However, we do know the special edition has an 8.0 inch main display and a 6.5 inch cover screen. In comparison, the Fold 6 has a 7.6 inch main display and a 6.3 inch cover screen. Both phones likely support 120 Hertz refresh rates, but Samsung hasn't confirmed this. In terms of durability, the special edition is made with Gorilla Glass Victus 2 for extra protection and features a distinctive stripe pattern on the back. Its frame is made from armor aluminum, ensuring it stays tough against everyday wear and tear. One surprising difference is the lack of S Pen support on the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition. Samsung confirmed this on their South Korean store page. On the other hand, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 does support the S Pen, making it the better choice for fans of Samsung's iconic stylus, even though it requires a separate purchase and doesn't have a built-in slot for storage. If the S Pen isn't a priority for you, the Special Edition might still be appealing, but it's worth considering this omission before making a decision. Both phones pack serious power under the hood. They share the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy chipset, which first appeared in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This powerful chip ensures that both devices can handle demanding tasks with ease. However, the Special Edition stands out by offering 16GB of RAM as standard, whereas the Fold 6 comes with 12GB. This extra RAM helps the Special Edition manage tasks like Galaxy AI more efficiently. The Special Edition also ships with 512GB of internal storage, whereas the Fold 6 gives you options of 256GB, 512GB, or 1TB. As for the battery, both models have a 4400MA unit, although Samsung hasn't mentioned if charging speeds differ between them. One of the most notable upgrades on the Special Edition is the primary camera. The Special Edition is equipped with a 200MP main camera, compared to the 50MP sensor on the Fold 6. This upgrade is significant and could be a game changer for those who prioritize photography on their foldable device. Other camera specs remain similar across both devices, including the telephoto lens and the 4 megapixel under panel camera. The special edition also has an advantage when it comes to connectivity as it supports Wi-Fi 7. This feature is only found on a few other Samsung devices like the Galaxy S24 Ultra, while the Fold 6 tops out at Wi-Fi 6E. Now, what about the price? The special edition will cost approximately $300 more than the Fold 6. In South Korea, the special edition will be priced at around 2 million. 789,601 or 2,036 dollars, while the 512 gigabytes Fold 6 goes for 2,388,101 or 1,743 dollars. Ultimately, the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition brings some exciting upgrades like a larger display, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 200 megapixel camera. But if S Pen support is important to you, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 might still be the better choice. Either way, both of these foldables are top-tier devices, each with its own strengths.